Welcome back, my loyal subjects, to more Persona 5. Pharaoh Fiasco here. Last episode, we did a lot of hanging out, um, and we got strength to rank 9. Oh, it's Ryuji again. Akichi-kun is so impressive. I can't believe he is still in high school. Did you watch that TV special about the heroes who took down the Phantom Thieves? I saw it too. It did make me like Akichi-kun more, but honestly, now I'm a really big fan of Shido-san. If he was my boss, I'd follow him no matter where he went. Dude, Ryuji, that look on his face, he was like, kill me now, dude. God, can't those people see past their own fat noses? They're crazier about Shido than ever before. When I think about how he used us, damn it, it pisses me right the hell off. Well, it'll be fine. The better his reputation gets, the more I look forward to tearing it all down. We'll make him own up to all this bullshit. Then they'll see who the real heroes are. Yep. The real he uh, heroes are Issei and the rest of Phantom Heart, dude. Um. Yes! Alright, Yusuke, you can't avoid us any longer, dude. Yongenjaya, Shibuya, Station Square, which was wrong. Um. I think this takes us to the underground walkway? Or maybe it's further down. And then Yusuke should be here. Yep. Alright. We're gonna save though, definitely. Alright, and we're over a hundred hours in. God. Indeed. The time has finally come. Let's hang out. Why? Slow down. How does your schedule look today? I wish for you to join me if possible. And our bond's gonna grow stronger. Yeah, let's hang out with him. Huh. Thank you. I would like to enter Mementos again today. I believe that place holds the truth of the human heart. Let us be off. Let us go. Okay, so once more it's just us and Yusuke going into Mementos. This place never fails to amaze me no matter how many times we come. Where does this passage even go? It feels as though I'm being sucked inside merely by gazing upon it. So this is the heart of man. It is ugly, yet beautiful as well. That duality is what makes humanity such an interesting subject. As you know, I have been confused recently about the reason for my art. Did I want to be recognized, or did I want to capture pure beauty? Was it due to my talent, or just my upbringing? Each answer would seem correct at first, yet only prove itself false upon a more in-depth examination. Issei, what are your thoughts? When my mother was painting the Sayuri, what do you think was she was thinking about? Um, her love for her son. Such love is almost embarrassing to have pointed out to me. But you are probably right. But... However, I believe that was not the only thing she thought about. It seems a Sayuri was meant to impart something to me, and all others who view it for that matter. Love, regret, loneliness, anxiety, calm, and hope. All of the emotions my mother felt conveyed plainly to the viewer. That is why it has such a profoundly unique impact on those who see it. My paintings pale in comparison to such depth of meaning. <sighs> How could I have hoped to convey pure beauty with my limited palette? And yet, that painting has kept me going this whole time. During- Ooh, crap. Log, there it is. During particularly difficult nights, it was there to soothe my sadness. It acted almost as a ray of light, cutting through the somber darkness. How could this be? I had wanted to create a similar beacon of hope for others, but it seems I lost sight of that goal. Look, this world is a dark, unrelenting place, Issei. But that is why I am going to wield my brush again, to give hope to all those who see my paintings. You've really changed, Yusuke. Yes. Yes, thanks to you. 
You chose to help me work through my problems instead of leaving me to my sadness. Now I will use my art to paint over the blackness of this world. It shall become a vivid realm, full of hope. I expect it will be a most beautiful sight to behold. Perhaps you will see it someday, Issei. I feel like my bond with Yusuke is growing deeper. Alright. Protect. Chance to shield Joker from an otherwise fatal attack. All right. One more. Hmm. <laughs> this radiant light glowing within me. It must be the light of hope. I shall paint it. I can sense shadows in the area. We should leave mementos. Okay. Dude. <laughs> oh, that's this guy. Kawanabe. Ah, you too. Oh. Kawanabe-san. On your way home? You clearly have time on your hands, Yusuke-kun. I'm on my way now to prepare for the competition. Speaking of which, do you plan on entering? Indeed I do. Your pride may not be too pleased with the outcome. After all, the winner's spot is not simply yours for the taking. I suppose whether you ultimately opt to enter is entirely your decision, though. The more the merrier, yes? <laughs> this guy... The winner's spot. Ah, yes, I was hoping to prove my talent to him by taking the top prize home. That no longer matters to me, though. I am going to enter my painting merely so others can be exposed to it. See you later. Well, I will talk to you later, Issei. Farewell. He's too mature for all that now, dude. After a while, you've got to be. Oh, well. Ah, you're back. Okay, who wants to hang? Becky, uh, our confidant with them is almost non-existent. Oh well. We probably are going to rank her up though. How are you? It's Becky saying, uh, sending you her positive energy, master. My grammar is perfect, but my health is not. That is my situation. Would you like to support Becky by paying 5,000 yen? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, request her. Please come right away. I, I waited a while after responding, but she hasn't replied. I wonder why. She was the one who invited me. She might be working as a maid. Let's call her from LeBlanc later. In the end, Kalakami never responded to you. Why don't you try calling her directly? This is the head nurse at Aoyama Hospital speaking on behalf of Kawakami-san. Did she collapse? Kawakami-san fainted and is currently hospitalized at our facility. Do you know our hospital's address? Her room number is... This isn't good. Let's head over right away. Dang, dude. Jeez. I'm just a little overworked. No need to make a big deal about it. <laughs> but thanks for coming all this way to visit me. How can I collapse at a time like this? I really need to make some money. How am I going to make today's payment? Tch, there you are. What's going on, Miss Kawakami? I called the school, but no one answered. What? Takase-san! You contacted the school?! Well, you weren't answering your phone! And when I thought you finally answered, it was a nurse who told us you were here. It's really an inconvenient for, uh, inconvenience for us when you miss a payment, you know. Now, now, it's not like she wanted to collapse. But our credit card payment is coming up soon, so we'll need you to transfer the money. Uh, I'm sorry. These are Takase-kun's guardians, the ones I mentioned the other day. They took care of him. Who's this? He's one of my students. He came to visit me. Messing around with another student, huh? <laughs> you never learn, do you? And after all you did to him... I'm sorry. So, when are you going to transfer the money? I should be able to send it out tomorrow. Don't pay them. Inazuma Skun! I almost said San. Stay out of this! Don't act so tough, kid. Our precious adopted son, Taiki, died because of this woman. Honestly, she should have been fired. Uh. That's not... And yet, she still doesn't know her place. 
and she still continues to teach. We're gonna need you to show some remorse for what you did to him. In a material and undeniable way. I understand. I will pay you. So... It's not like we're trying to extort you. That's exactly what you're doing! But who was it that convinced Taiki to start studying when he needed to be working? The schoolwork on top of his part-time jobs overwhelmed him, which led to that accident. Poor Taiki. It's almost like he was murdered. So you no longer feel regret? In that case, perhaps we should sue the Board of Education. Or should we have a chat with your school? Either way, your days as a teacher would be over. We're looking forward to receiving your payment. Screw these guys, dude! <sighs> I have to figure out a way to make more money. I guess transferring to our sister company is the only way. Where instead of being a maid, she'll be like a prostitute or something? Think this through more. <laughs> I can't believe I'm getting scolded by my student. Why? Why are you so interested in helping me? I'm not worth it. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna stop worrying about it. The money? I'll pay it. I'll do everything Master tells me to do. Meow. Uh. I'm so tired. All I really want is... A way to apologize to Takase-kun. So if his guardians demand money, then I just have to pay them. Is it there another way? Sorry, I'm not quite back to 100% yet, so my thoughts are all over the place. I'm going to get some rest. I appreciate you coming to visit me today. It made me really happy. I feel that Kawakami is starting to depend on me. Jeez, dude. Super housekeeping allows you to also request Kawakami to make courier infiltration tools for you. All right. We're actually going to be doing that. Oh. <laughs> I'll be released first thing tomorrow morning, so don't worry. The IVs here work really well. Visiting hours are over. I'll see you later then. Get home safe, okay? Man, Kawakami is in a truly unenviable position, that's for certain. Okay, six. Come on, Yusuke. Be available, dude. This campaign season's really heating up. Did you already decide who you're voting for? I see Shido's as popular as ever. Is there any point in anyone else running? His approval rating went up again. How high will it go? Probably pretty high. Oh man, it's gonna be really satisfying smacking this dude down. You think Shido's gonna become the Prime Minister at this rate? With Akichi-kun and Shido-san, it feels like some heroes have been born this year! Well, That's right, the turning point of any era is when a hero is born. They address everyone's fears and worries and skillfully carry out a revolution. Representative Shido is like that, don't you think? A hero? Him? Don't make me laugh. This is getting really bad. We need to make everyone realize it! We can't do that before we get those two maxed out, though. Okay. No! Come on, Yusuke! Underground walkway. Crap. Okay, what about Haru? School gate. And our own vegetables should actually be done, too. Yep. Uh, let's head to the rooftop. And then, Haru is here and available. Nice. First, we need those vegetables, though. Good day. Um, I want to see the vegetables. <laughs> and then, the sun tomatoes. Nice. We're going to make more sun tomatoes. Got sun tomato times one. Good day. And then we're going to plant more sun tomatoes. She probably, once we start ranking her up even more, we'll, we should get more stuff to plant. Or maybe she'll be able to make them grow faster. She said 1213, right? I think she said 1213. Let's hang out. It's a secret. 
Oh, right, I found a place that serves an especially rare type of coffee. Would you be interested in joining me there? And our bond's gonna grow stronger. Yeah, let's hang out with her. <laughs> then it's decided. This particular restaurant is in an expensive hotel buffet. Hopefully the coffee lives up to that reputation. This is probably gonna be the same one where Phantom Heart was born. Sure is. Um... Do you remember how I mentioned before about my newfound interest in coffee? Well, I've decided to start studying the topic more seriously by going out to places like this. I've been keeping it a secret from my fiancé, though. You see, just a single cup of the dark ivory coffee here costs roughly 6,000 yen. Wow! That's 60 bucks for a cup of coffee, dude! Damn, must be amazing. Yes. I've heard it is. Apparently, the beans they use are exceedingly rare. Either way, perhaps we should try before passing judgment. Well, shall we order? I'll be paying for your cup as well. Thank God. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I can't let you do that. <laughs> That's noble of you. But allow me to handle this. I invited you after all. Hmm, I wonder how it will taste. Okay, thanks. Wow, dude. Well, here we go. Dude. There is a faint bitterness beneath this strangely mellow flavor. The coffee is clearly distinct from what Sojiro serves in Le Blanc. This is... It has a distinctly fragrant aroma paired with a mild flavor. This is undoubtedly delicious, yet I would barely consider it coffee. Um... Apparently, it's brewed using beans gathered from elephant dung, bruh. You couldn't have told us that before we took a sip of it? You mean poop? <laughs> uh... To be completely honest, if I were caught in this situation, especially after Haru paid for it, I'd drink the entire thing. The poop was so far back in the, in the thing, in the process. But man, I would... <laughs> Might have to ask a few more probing questions before actually drinking something else Hadu offers us. I can taste the elephant. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize for not disclosing that to you earlier. I just thought you might find it hard to enjoy it if you had known ahead of time. That's for certain. It's not something you'd be able to stop thinking about, dude. I was surprised to hear it at first myself, but that was actually why I wanted to try it to begin with. Yeah, I can see how that could pique your interest. Another rare type of coffee, Kopi Luwak, is gathered from the feces of a small cat called a civet. Interestingly enough, the flavor differs depending on what animal it was originally consumed by. Oh my god. Poop coffee beans, dude. Learn something new today. Speaking of cats, do you think Mona-chan would be able to... Never. <laughs> Let's ask him. <laughs> Perhaps it could become LeBlanc's new specialty drink. <laughs> oh, but we need Monichon for our operations, huh? We can't afford to make him eat beans all day. Wait, so the beans aren't grown with the poop? They are the poop? Hold on. Ugh. Hmm, coffee is so profound. Oh my god. Haruchan. Huh? Takakura-san? This is him? What a strange place for us to meet. It's not often I see people your age at this luxurious buffet. And who is this? Oh, he's a friend from school. Isekun, this is Takakura-san, the new president of Okumura Foods. By the way, it looks like we will be able to avoid litigation. We somehow settled on decent terms. You don't need to worry. Oh, and about your shares. You should consider letting the company hold on to them for the time being. I'm sure you all have enough on your plate already, given everything that's happened to you. No. Well, I... Ah, uh, I'm sorry to bring that up while you two are enjoying yourselves here. That aside, how are things going with Sugimura-kun? You know, these days you need to reserve a wedding hall almost a year in advance if you want a good one. Sometimes it worries me how laid back you are, Haru-chan. right we're in the process. Well, I should be heading back to the office now. Oh, but please allow me to pay for your drinks. N no, that's quite alright. And, um, about the shares, 
I can handle them for now. I'm going to protect that which my father left for me. I understand. Please do try to reconsider, though. Well, if you'll excuse me. No way, uh, Takakura-san. <sighs> that was a lie. There's no way I can handle the responsibilities I have to deal with right now. I mean, I'm just an inexperienced high schooler. But I can't leave the company in Takakura-san's hands. Hey, um, what do you think of him? He was a little sketchy. Agreed. Apparently a few employees have been accusing him of being a dishonest, greedy villain. But then, there are others who practically revere his efforts. Which side do I trust? Um... Right now, the most prevalent rumor about Takakura-san is that he was phased, uh, pleased by my father's passing. I mean, he was certainly the person who stood to benefit the most from it. It's hard to deny that fact. But, he says he's trying to rebuild our company image. I just can't tell if he really means it. You know, sometimes I wonder what life would be like if I didn't have money. If I was normal. Don't get me wrong, the company is definitely important. But it's often nothing more than a source of stress. Um... With you guys, though, I feel like I actually belong. That's why I'm going to work extra hard to make sure my harvests turn out great. I can sense a strong resolve from Haru. Okay. Celeb talk. Chance to step in after shadow negotiation fails, allowing a retry. Okay. Um, oh, and as for that Sugimura-san, that's my fiancé. He's been really showering me with presents lately. One night he even left a bouquet of roses on my pillow. But he would have needed one of my servants to help him accomplish that, right? What a scary thought. Even worse, Takakura-san has been hurrying us to get married after what happened to my father. He claims it's because of the profit the marriage will bring to the company. But there has to be more to the situation than just that. Man. Yes. Anyway, I'll look in a little deeper into Takakura-san. Perhaps he truly was pleased by my father's death. Maybe I should start by asking the employees who are trying to desperately or who are trying so desperately to win my favor. Hmm. Hmm? You haven't drank any more of your coffee, Isekun. Are you aren't you going to finish it? <laughs> goodbye. Well, goodbye. I'd have drunk it all in one more gulp, dude, and tried not to taste it. The election battle has reached the halfway point. The polls for each election ward have remained the same, though. Does this mean Shiro's victory is guaranteed? That would be the case. I wonder if voting will shift if Shiro has a change of heart. Nobody will vote for him once they, they find out he's a criminal. Assuming they find out before they vote, that's the important part. We would prefer him to announce his crimes before the election. But if the change of heart doesn't make it, the election will just go as expected. We have to believe. Yeah, I'm sure it'll happen beforehand. All we can do is change his heart. We should be able to put a stop to this if we succeed. Okay, who wants to hang? The ADP, so this will be our last rank with her. I have an update about the ADP! Can I see you? I want to tell you all about it. And our bond's gonna grow stronger. Yeah, let's go right away. Thanks, okay then, I'll see you soon. Should be rank 9 for for- or rank 10 for fortune, rather. Oh, rank 9 then. So, I got all the members of the ADP together and gave them a big group apology. They didn't really believe what I was saying at first, but the truth of the matter settled in eventually. It's just... However, it seems like the members from the executive class are still brainwashed. I'm in talks with a lawyer right now though. We're going to get refunds and outpatient care for all of them. I'm going to give back all the money I made from selling holy stones too. It's the least I can do to atone for the ignorance I showed back then. That's why I want you to accept this Inazuma-san. Think of it as not only an apology, but as a sign of gratitude for helping me see the truth. Got a hundred thousand! Nice! Man, that was a lot of money to shell out. Maiden, I'm so happy to see you! What? Yokora-san? What are you all doing here? That apology you gave us was all made up, wasn't it? Somebody had to have forced you to say that stuff. They're about to turn on Issei, aren't they? I mean, 
The chairman was obviously framed. Tell us the truth, please. No. N none of it was made up. Um. As for the chairman, I need you to listen to me. Everything he told you in those seminars was a lie. The promises of a great future, the power of the Holy Stones, the need for donations, all lies. Doesn't it seem strange that he kept asking members for money, even through times of financial stress? And beyond that, you guys should have known better than anyone where those donations were ending up. Even I knew how horrible the ADP scheme was. That's why I had to come forward. No, that can't be true. You, are you the one who did this to our beautiful maiden? Listen to what Chihai is saying. Shut your mouth! Please stop this! He has nothing to do with your situation! I'm the one who sold you those rocks! If you're going to get upset with anyone, it should be me! But... Maiden... This can't be happening! No, we must continue to place our trust in her. Please, Maiden, cleanse us of our misery! If you leave us now, we will be fated to drown in sorrow! Look, the only way you can change that is with your own convictions. Neither I nor one of those worthless stones will be able to help you. But, but then, how are we supposed to avoid our fated misery? No, the curse is upon us. Maiden, please! <sighs> oh, will you shut your traps? Y'all need to simmer down and listen to what I have to say for once. Whether you're going to be miserable or not, it's all on your own damn shoulders. You don't need some divine power mumbo jumbo to be changing your fate. Yeah, dude. Y'all got that strength in yourselves. Fortune telling can't hold a candle to honest to goodness willpower. And heck, even if things are bad now, it'll all be fine so long as you keep your heads up. Oh, um... oh I'm sorry about that. All this stress caused me to lapse into my country dialect. But I stand by what I said. Nothing will ever change if all you do is rely on others. Take me, for example. I thought I was destined to live as a monster, but I had the strength to reverse that fate. If you want to control your future, that's all you need. Strength. Yeah, but this is the fortune confidant, dude. The only way forward is through the fortitude of your own heart. My heart? It might not be the easiest thing to accomplish at first. After all, your willpower has been constantly suppressed by all those seminars and donations. I'm partially to blame for that. I'm here with you. But that's why I need to show you the light now and help you push on. Maiden. No, I'm not your maiden anymore. I'm just Chihaya Mifune, the fortune teller who guides fate. <sighs> I wonder if Yokoro-san and the others will be okay. I know how they feel, though. They want to cling on to the Holy Stones just as I clung to my role as the maiden. All any of us ever wanted was to be happy, to avoid our fates. Well, fate can be changed. Right. I did it, so I'm sure Yokoda-san and the others will be able to as well. No matter how many times I have to try, I will talk to them until they understand. And when they realize the difficult truth, I will be there to help them recover. Back in my village, people called me a monster. Here, they revered me as the Maiden. Even now my heart continues to wander, yet you somehow saw the real me. <laughs> not just the Maiden, not a monster. Just Chihaya. Inazuma-san, thank you. I can sense a deep, uh, deep bond of trust from Chihaya. Okay. Fortune rank 9. All right. Almost there, dude. <laughs> By the way, Inazuma-san, has anyone told you you're a bit nosy? I mean, normally someone wouldn't think to involve themselves in such a strenuous ordeal. Um. So, um... There's actually something I've been wondering for a while now. Is fortune telling the only reason you come to see me? Wow, really? It's not, is it? I should choose my words carefully. Um... Inazuma-san, why do you come here? I like having my fortune read. Uh, oh, I see. Sorry, I suppose I was just feeling a bit self-conscious. But... But there's nothing better than knowing my readings help others. Please come have your fortune read as often as you'd like. After all, we'll forever be joined in our quest to oppose fate. Well then. Anyway, I should be going. Until next time. Good night.
All right. We made Chihaya's life a little bit better. We just need... Hopefully, we can have a repeat. A day of Chihaya and a day of uh, Yusuke. Nice! Okay. Yongyang Jaya. Shibuya. Underground walkway. Don't screw me on this, Yusuke. No! No! God dang it! Uh, are we going today? If you'll be infiltrating, if you'll be infiltrating the palace, be sure to gather everyone. No, decide later. God dang it! Okay, looks like we're hanging out with um. No, nothing for the school gate. Mm. Okay, let's go um to Shinjuku and see that movie again. It should let us- Oh, that's wrong! Not Shinjuku, Shibuya! Where we were just at. God dang it. Theater. It should let us see that movie one more time. Yep, kindness. And then shell out for a ticket. Well, then. Oh, Aohige! I probably noticed that before, but... Oh, they're a branch. Hmm. Doesn't matter if it's my job. I never want to clean another skyscraper in my life. And I gotta work on Christmas of all days. Man, all the apologies in the world couldn't have smoothed things over with the missus. I haven't even gotten the chance to tell her. I love her. Yeah, dude. Kinda sucks, but oh well. Um... I think that girl... Hmm. Be more compassionate. Oh well. A point up for our kindness, but no new ranks. And then Morgana's like, get, let's get the heck out of here, dude. <sighs> Yusuke, why won't you become available again? Ah, you're back. Chihaya? No. Is your room messy? Is your room messy? Are you hungry? Leave it to Becky. Or wait, did you need to request me? There's something I want to talk to you about. And our bond's gonna grow stronger. Yeah, let's request her. This will get us to rank 8 with her, actually. Thank- <laughs> I'll talk with you. Thank you very much! Wait for me, master! Okay, so she's out of the hospital, which is good. Hey, hey! I actually really like the antique feel of this room. Mm. I have to- uh, but I have to say goodbye to it today. The thing is, I've decided to quit. My boss found me a part-time job that pays better than this one. What is it? Takase-kun's guardians keep increasing their demands. So this is just what I have to do. Is this really what you want? What I want? Takase-kun's guardians say the only true way to apologize to Takase-kun is by paying them. If that's not true, then what's the right thing to do here? I wonder if I can escape all this if I quit being a teacher. People like me have no right being a teacher. If I quit on my own, I won't have to pay them. That's why I'm going to quit both my teaching job and my maid job. What do you think? I need my teacher. <laughs> you always seem to make things about you. If I can only follow my own path like you do. Now that I think about it, it's too late for me to stop being a teacher. If I really felt bad for what happened, I would have resigned the day he died. And yet, I still felt the need to teach. I wonder why I feel that way even now. And that's your answer. Inazuma-kun. <clears throat> oh, that's right. I decided the way to apologize to him was to make sure there won't ever be another student like him. Because, ooh, whoops. Because I might have been able to save him if I hadn't been afraid of rumors or labels back then. I wanted to become a teacher who takes care of her students. That's the mindset I had. But now I spend all my free time at part-time jobs just so I can continue working as a teacher. I put the critical work of a teacher on the back burner so I can make apology money. 
That's where it all went wrong. I can't make things right with Takase-kun like this. Mistakes can be fixed. I'll be the teacher I aspire to be. That's the right way for me to make amends with Takase-kun. From here on, I refuse to pay them any more money. And that is my answer. Well, what do you think? Huh, be confident in your answer. You're right. You can't get the right answer from someone else. It can only come from within. I learned that from you. In a way, you're my teacher. <laughs> Just kidding. I feel Kabakami's trust in me strengthening. And then rank eight. Nice. All right. I've been so worried about making money that I haven't been paying attention to my students. Especially to you. I averted my eyes from you because you were labeled, just like Takase-kun was. But from now on, I'm going to protect you too. As your teacher, I will never betray you. I want to protect you. That kind of line only works from someone old enough to handle his own chores. But thanks. I'll speak with the Takases. I'm not going to run anymore. Everything should be fine as long as I talk to them face to face. Alright, it's time for me to go. Thank you. I'll see you later. Good night. Okay. So she's gonna own up to them. Come on, Yusuke. Be available, dude. We really don't have much more time. I can't wait for Shido's new administration. I'm sure our economy and market will improve. I want to listen in on Shido-san's speech. I was so moved, his words really resonated with me. It's strange that no one like him has come forward until now. He's so charismatic. Upper management can learn a thing or two from him. <sighs> charismatic, huh? I suppose that's an accurate description, at least in terms of deceiving people. He only thinks of people as stepping stones for his own personal gain. <clears throat> Father. Father, is this the type of person you fought to protect us from? I will fight against this injustice with my own power. I'll be alright. I have Sis and the Phantom Thieves on my side. So, watch over me, okay? Okay. Come on, Yusuke! Come on, Yusuke! Hey. Ten days left. I heard a crowd of people chanting Shido's name today. This is so strange. I met a similarly frightening situation on a train. Everyone's blindly following Shido. It's as if they've been brainwashed. Then that is all the more reason we should hurry. You're right. What do you mean? If Shido has time to spare, he will ensure all the loose ends are tied up with Issei's death. They may even find out about the missing corpse! Let's just try to keep an eye on our opponent's move and strike first. I'll do the best navigation I can for you guys. Leave it to me! Shit's getting real important now. Just give us a call if you make up your mind. Okay. Yongen Jaya, Shibuya... No. There's no one available. Hmm. Dang, dude. Okay, in that case, school gate. And then rooftop. And then our empress should be here. She doesn't want to hang out. Oh, man. Aoyama Ichome Station. Is this hot? Um, Futaba? Cafe LeBlanc. Uh. No, Futaba's not here. Or maybe she's in, out in front of um their actual residence now? No. I didn't know Futaba lived here too. We might have passed by her without even noticing. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe if she did ever go out. But... I'm trying to struggle to think of what to do. Hmm. We could hang out with Shooter Shinya, but... Ayama Ichome. Okay, who do we have a text... Any texts from? Nope. No one. 
Um, let's do the batting cages then. Doesn't feel like the best use of our time, but welcome. By the way, we set up a new machine. Baseball fever really ramps up around this time, so... Advanced. Yeah, buddy. Okay. We just have to... Wait. Okay, there we go. Ooh! Dang! Okay. Oh, whoops! Okay. At least take a swing! <laughs> whoops. Less looking, more swinging. Does blue mean above? Okay. Ooh! Wow. Hey, hey. <laughs> I am... <laughs> ex Ooh! Exceedingly bad at this. Why aren't you swinging? Come on, dude! Ugh! Okay. Uh... 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 Ooh, okay. <laughs> that... That was actually really bad. Um... Okay! So we're gonna keep playing Persona 5 next time. Join me then, guys. Bye. Dang, 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 dang.